Parliament has risen for its winter recess, but that won't pause a push for a lift in New Start and the establishment of a federal ICAC. The break, though, may be more welcome for ministers targeted by Labor in question time attacks. This is The Week in Politics. It was front page news, but Barnaby Joyce insists he's not crying poor. I am not skint. The former deputy PM forced to mop up comments that he could empathise with those on Newstart, despite his six-figure salary. He's still skint. Where's the tissues? You, you ask me, are we increasing Newstart? Well, the answer's no, we're not. Labor also took aim at Joyce before turning up the heat on Angus Taylor. Give my questions to the Minister for Energy. Mr Taylor targeted for his intervention over endangered grasslands. Did the minister receive a single letter from any constituent about the grasslands listing? And I spoke with a series of farmers across my electorate and elsewhere. This is about any constituent correspondence. Any at all will do. Stuart Robert was next in the hot seat over the welfare robo-debt program. Bill Shorten taking up the attack and breaking his post-election silence. It was very disappointing. You can't gild that, Lily. The Liberals were forced to confront allegations of sexual assault within the party. A man who I didn't want to be in my home came to my home uninvited and was on top of me. Outside the parliament, Crown had to confront allegations of its own and links to organised crime. Billions of dollars of dirty money that gets laundered every year through entities like Crown. The Crown controversy was the catalyst for the crossbench to unite this week and push for a National Integrity Commission with real teeth. We feel it's a very powerful statement to make when so many members of the crossbench come together. There are corrupt politicians in the federal parliament. But the Tasmanian Independent didn't say who he was talking about. I'm not going to name politicians here now. I'm making a general point. If he has an allegation to make, well, he should get out and make it. Jackie Lambie had some strong language of her own, threatening the government's agenda. I would consider telling them where to stick their bills until they put some law and, some law and discipline on themselves. Trudy McIntosh, Sky News, Canberra.